What's up, everybody? It's Trey Smith, one half of the Blue Bloods College Game Time Podcast, and you are on the Hog Heaven playlist, okay, where we got our Razorback content only. And the Razorback Hoop Squad is now on a six-game winning streak. They just got their sixth win in a row, beat West Virginia, who traveled to Bud Walton as a part of the Big 12 SEC Challenge. It was actually the first win for the SEC Conference in this challenge. And for most of the day, they looked pretty comfortable. There was a little bit of a scare there in the middle of the second half, but other than that, Hogs looked great. But I don't want to just talk about the game Saturday. I want to talk about this winning streak because a lot of us fans were starting to edge, get closer to the edge of that cliff when we hit that little lull that we're just going to have to accept that with the Musselman era, era, There's probably going to be a lull like that in the season because of how rapidly the roster is going to change from year to year, combining top high school recruits with uh, 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 the transfer portal guys. And it just, it is what it is. But I do want to say this because it's coming back to the key statistic that if you watch this channel early in the season, I said this key statistic could take Arkansas to the final Four, because when they started off, I think seven and zero or eight and zero, whatever it was, I talked about how they were dominating in this particular statistical category. And uh, I want to recap and go back through on this winning streak how the Hogs have been doing with this stat because it really, it really went into the dumps when they hit their lull. And then now that they're climbing back out of the pit that they dug themselves in, it's all coming back to this one statistic. And you know what I'm going to say if you've watched this channel. You know what it is. And if you don't know, you better hit subscribe right now if you want to hear it. That key statistic is extra possessions. Okay, yes. The Razorback team's chemistry is finally gelling, and it has been over the course of this win streak. Yes, defensively, we look locked in, and we're playing better, as good as we have all season. Offensively, where there's not as many like off-the-dribble, contested mid-range jump shots. We got guys attacking the rim. We're getting to the foul line, and we're getting extra possessions. On this win streak, the Hogs are plus... We're over plus eight per game extra possessions, okay? We're plus 50, and the only reason why I'm slightly hesitating with these numbers is because I haven't done the final calculations for the West Virginia game because it just ended. However, based off my calculations with not much time to play, this is kind of where they're at. They're over plus 50 in the last six games, and they're at, which is at about plus eight, 8.3 extra possessions per game. And I talked about that. They were, they, in their early, to start the season, their win streak to start the season, they were like plus double figures. And they're creeping back around that number. And I said in an earlier video earlier this season is they could sustain that in conference play. They're going to be a team to, to really uh, battle with come March. So, yes, we have to keep winning. We're still probably considered a bubble team. We've got to keep stacking wins. But I can't wait for this matchup with the number one ranked Auburn Tigers coming to Bud Walton Arena here in a couple weeks. I hope Auburn keeps winning. I hope we keep winning. And that right there could be the game that puts us in the tournament, getting that win. That would be huge for the Razorback resume. Bottom line is, though, we just got to continue to control what we can control, which is winning basketball games. And we win basketball games by dominating the extra possession category, which we are starting to do. The chemistry is gelling. The offense is playing better. The defense is playing together. Here we go, Hog fans. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling about this Razorback Hoops team now. I know everyone was kind of feeling a certain kind of way there during a, during during that lull is what I keep calling it. We hit But at this point, um, let's just stay tuned to those extra possessions. And if you don't remember, basically my formula for calculating these extra possessions is taking the team forced turnovers plus blocks plus offensive rebounds minus the team's given up turnovers and offensive rebounds allowed. So if you take that number minus the other number, that will give you your plus minus for extra possessions for the game. Stay tuned to that statistic as we play out the rest of the season because if the Hogs can continue to sustain even just a plus eight, a plus eight per game, that's insane, okay? If they can sustain that as we get 
down this last half of conference play and into the conference tournament into March Madness. I'm telling you, this is a team that can make some noise in March Madness. That's all I got for you. That's it. Trey Smith, you're watching the Blue Bloods College Game Time channel. We drop fresh college sports content every single day. Hit subscribe right now.